it was a you know a great basketball team, and uh, we were a little out of it early. Uh, turned the ball over. Uh, really couldn't find rhythm. A lot of that had to do with Purdue, and their defense is terrific um, in the building. Uh, thankfully for us, they missed a few jump shots that they've been making at home, so we were able to hang around in the first half. And then the second half, I thought offensively we were as good as we've been in a long time. We kind of had to reinvent ourselves, and uh, we were getting better in it. But we just couldn't guard Haas. He's a, he's a beast. And we had no answer. Sean played five minutes, five fouls. Uh, Josh couldn't guard him, which isn't fair to Josh. Uh, and then I was really proud of my freshman. Um, Second half, Daryl figured out how to play with someone not guarding him, and no one's guarding him in the league. And he, he was terrific. He figured it out. And then I thought Daryl was just, I mean, uh, Bruno was terrific. Played with those four fouls, and but he was good. And then, of course, Ann and Kevin are always playing well for us. So. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. You, you don't get a participation you know, certificate, but we're, we're getting better. I mean, we've, we've had a tough schedule, and uh, I think this gives us a little confidence moving forward. Uh, we'll open it up for questions. If you can just wait. We'll start with Don right over here. Thank you. Mark, Mark, given given the situation with Checo, um, ha how much will this help the team, just in terms of sh giving the showing it did, and also just give us an update on Checo? Yeah, Checo's it's it's his heel on his surgically repaired foot. He landed on it funny. He's going to see his surgeon tomorrow. I think they've done an MRI and uh, X-ray. I think they're doing a CAT scan next, so we'll know more tomorrow on him. Um, but if, if, you know, we'll see. I haven't talked to him today. Um, it gives us confidence, that, you know, Don, you know, Deion twisted his ankle, he couldn't play in the second half. So we were down to six, but Josh Tamias is our sixth man. So, um, unless I don't play the walk-ons, but we are who we are. We keep battling, guys have positive attitudes and um, a lot of fight in us. So hopefully, you know, I'm hoping some good things happen for these guys because they've really continued to play hard. Roman in the back, please. Mark, was it, was it uh, equally equally frustrating and encouraging at halftime when you're only down 11, given maybe they didn't shoot as well, or yeah. just all the turnovers you guys had? But and was there a feeling just in the second half that just maybe that hole was just a little too deep? Yeah, no, we, 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 we felt like we could come back. We came back, cut it to three, I think, as close as we got. And, um, but, um, no, I just I told the guy I said we're down 11, but we didn't play very well. You know, you know, I'm sure Purdue didn't play well either, but we didn't play very well. We can play better, and we did. You know, I think we had four assists at halftime and 11 turnovers. We ended up with 18 assists, and only you know only three turnovers in the second half. So we did a lot of good things. Um, their team's pretty good, pretty veteran, pretty intimidating. So it took us a while to get used to it. And I think we warmed down a little bit defensively with our offense. Our offense is hard to guard. Mark, um, I don't know if you were aware of the situation with Vince Edwards being ill tonight. He was kind of running up the ramp a few times. And, but how did he affect the game tonight? I think it was 10 rebounds, 5 assists, yeah. something like that. Yeah, has he gotten more athletic? I don't remember being that athletic. Um, get some rebounds, he was way up there. So I don't feel sorry for them. They have one guy sick, they got three guys out. So he played the whole damn game. <laughs> Okay, question up here. Yeah, just what did you see from Bruno in the second half, and was that kind of the emphasis at halftime to get no, him the ball more? I, yeah, Bruno was just, he settled into the game. He, he, he played like he's been practicing. Sometimes young kids practice a certain way, and then they get in front of the lights, and then they turn into another player. Those guys are hard to coach, and Bruno's done that to me a few times. But tonight, in the second half, he settled in, and he just let the game come to him, and he looked like he's been playing in practice. He's been healthy for a while, so it's hard to guard that. That kid is, Haas is so good, and Matt's done a great job with him, their staff. Um, and, you know, Bruno played seven minutes with four fouls and, you know, gave us a chance. I don't know what we would have done if Kevin and Bruno fell out. You know, it's just 
Coach, we'll just have two more questions, Bruce and then Don. Bruce. Uh, Coach, uh, Daryl Morsell seemed to grow up tonight a little yeah. bit with the shots. Has he? Is that what he's been working on? They say thousands yeah. of shots from 12 feet or 15 feet? Well, we were working on his three, and that was a mistake. So after the Michigan State game, I just, I, this was like 7 o'clock. I think I left the building at 4, and I said, Daryl, love you, da, da, da. Uh, but we got to get a mid-range game. He said, I'm heading to the gym right now, coach. So it was a devastating loss for us on Sunday, but Daryl was in the gym. So been working on mid-range. It showed tonight. He made some nice cuts, got all the way to the rim. And he just he had to learn how to not be guarded and play basketball. And he was able to do that in the second round. Coach, we got one last question with Don and we're done. When you guys cut it to three, um, they went on a 7-0 run. It, yeah. it, 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 it seemed on one of Kevin's shots, I, I saw you sort of look away. Was was it was it the shot he took? Did it look like he rushed it maybe a little bit? Yeah, I don't really remember. I, I thought we shot a couple. I thought we shot three quick ones uh, in, in the stretch because we can't do that here on the road against a team that's so good offensively. Um, but we also fell down on defense. You know, Anthony was trying to help, and uh, Thompson hit one. Uh, then we had two wide open threes in that stretch. And that's by the way, Jared had one, we got the rebound through it to Kevin had one, just didn't make them, so that's basketball. And Thank you, Coach. Yeah, uh, Anthony's hands okay? He's a tough kid. Anthony's a tough one.